split circumstance that we have in front of us here. I think Mir's been playing quite well. Dexter as well has been putting in the hours. And it's always just that potential with Spirit that never quite manifests. Maybe today could be the day. Because I, I think if all the favorites win today, Spirit, not the favorite, I would mean... be finding themselves versus Astralis tomorrow. <laughs> Assuming they beat Pain later on. So this one could hurt for all, but hurting early is kick it. Lots of nades down Banana. The classic rally of you till back and forth we go. But um, look at this from SDY straight on down. There's the first. The second is traded and it is going to slow on down. No one was there close in the push. Just SDY. You know, you were talking about how rare it was to have like a large head-to-head. In the head to head suite, all the oh. matches were <laughs> happy. That's gotta be a pre fire, surely. Oh, yeah, that's the first bullet out of the AK. It just <laughs> knocks him out. Oh, 15 wins for both squads in the head to head, admittedly, of course, not accounting for the change of the roster. Vertus Pro bringing in Flit. Difficult to win now, right? After that SDY kill and it gets into the 4v4, you're thinking, all right, all right, there's an opportunity. But now that it peters out to the three man. Disadvantage for Spirit here. If one over towards B, Chop's going to try and delay things with this smoke. The rotation of the other two is very far away. You can see they're tucked in, tight in towards that site without any information. Oh, you might even disrespect that. With the time, uh, look, there's enough time to channel them back towards A, but they can just hang around and go late B, right? VP are not going to sweat. This is the, the type of counter strike they're used to. Sure, you want us to go in on the last 10 seconds? We are ready and raring to go for this. So you two are about to come on over, and it's all on Chopper. Yeah, the unenviable task of defending a bomb site with nothing more than a P250. And they've got time to be diligent. I say that Molly does force the fight and your kinder adjust nicely. So. This one's done. Yeah. Easy as that. The force by though threatening for a moment. Yeah, like SDY getting that kill, as I mentioned, was was something. Now they're gonna see if they can go and find and pick up some of these guns, but you mentioned diligent, I think. Virtus Pro are going to be very much so that. Oh, they are often the embodiment of that. Hiding guns, making sure nothing can be scooped on up. So they're tidying their room here. We'll be able to get the scout for Magic so they can carry that through, give it to Dexter in the in the next. That's a pretty scout as well. I hadn't seen that one before. Oh, and everyone's flexing the hand wraps. Is that a scorpion on it? I think it's a scorpion scout. Clearly haven't been keeping track of all these new... Uh, they just keep adding to it. So it's many, so hard bro. to keep up. And then you got all the old school ones as well. If you, if you take a little while off, you're going to lose track of the skins more than you are the teams here. Well, it's but, uh, aesthetically pleasing how straight that parallel line is running. We were talking about uh, Spirit just the other day. I think we were doing a little bit of fill before one of the games started. And uh, we were mentioning how, well, at least from my perspective, they're a team who were coming out of the player break. And I thought they were going to be hot to trot. Magics were streaming a lot. It looked like the entire team didn't take too much of a break, whereas others did. And I thought they were going to hit the ground running. And then we had Spirit and their emergence into this level of counter -trade. Obviously, Dexter coming in to replace I Disbalance. That was a big change up. But this team, in certain points, they seemed a little bit one dimensional. You know, their anti eco setups or their force spy setups were well noted. And it was on a map like this Inferno, where that was first. Now, there's, a, there's, a, there's an alternate reality that I'm just going to remind everyone it could exist with four. He Bloody hell, I was about to talk about HGs, oh, and it's an TK. absolute disaster. Yikes. Chopper's dead man, martyrdom, Perk has taken a teammate down and never mind about the, the power of this scout 4HE combo chat. I don't even get to finish the sentence before it absolutely gets thrown back in their face. Yeah, that couldn't have gone much worse, really, <laughs> could it? Okay, well, back towards B we go. And Magic's Molotov out of the first. Yeah, Jame, feeling himself. First into the site here. Hot pursuit at some frags. Oh, really? It actually cost him his life and his rifle. Shouldn't be much more to write home about. That was a tag through the smoke. That's going to send them oh, packing. Not far off the mark, but Yekinda starts to farm up. He's starting on the T side as well, Chad. I mean, I don't know if you caught the game yesterday, but he came in absolutely raring to go. He has had terrible CT sides and ended at the top of the scoreboard with that T side. Or with the, that T side. Six frags to the good already. Great start for VP. Couldn't really get better than that. So three to zero. We'll get to see the rifles out. I don't think Dexter's... I mean, it's unlikely. No, he's, he's got, got, a, he's got the big green, yeah. All right. He's going to be very influential with this. And going up against Jame on the other side, I think that's a massive battle. Now, in terms of it being head-to-head, -head, I don't think we're going to see too much of that. Having a quick look here, they're not operating with the T side AWP right now. They've opted for five rifles, so let's see if they go for something a little bit more execute heavy. Yeah, here they come. Three leaning B, Dexter taking that off. Hey, it does enable them to have another body on the side, and Chopper's got a really big chance. Needs both, he's blind, doesn't even see him. Buster hiding in plain sight. Vision based on movement. Chopper is a Velociraptor, I think. 
and yeah, down goes another. That is three VP. Man advantage for Spirit. They have to build upon this. So reshaking, reshaping, rejigging. The A side to be tested. They're doing it quite quickly here. Look at this. Oh, fate in the orb shot. But there's the response. A dink now lodged in the head of Yakinda. He's going to be Molotov'd out. Doesn't implement the smoke. Magix is in a lot of trouble, but still fights his way out. There wasn't any group pressure. It was Flit isolating and, yeah, unable to convert. That's surely going to leave VP in a tight spot, looking to recover what they can. Well, this is where uh, it's going to be a very difficult round to win right here. There's 30 seconds left, and... I hate to say it, maybe just maybe it could be a save call coming on out. I mean, there is there is only one defending B at this as it currently stands. You can see the floats coming in. Yeah, it, it's just you know the way that VP act. They're never going to go for anything audacious until yeah. uh, we get to the to the to the end of the game when when they have to. Right, these kind of situations like can we win the round? No. Okay, let's yeah. not even try. Play the percentages. Yeah, absolutely. And we you know we gave Astralis a lot of a lot of credit for kind of uh, forcing that upon us. Gambit then kind of refined it and demonstrated that it can have a mix of both. Like, I mean, it got to the point where they would, <laughs> that people would expect them to be saving, so they used that in an advantage. You can see, yeah, just maybe four by three. Chopper, not able to spot Buster. And that was those opening proceedings. So, so far, it has been pretty chaotic uh, over on that banana side for both teams. Team Spirit converting early there. And bringing that aggression in, Dex are now armoured on his Zoom banger. Start that again, 3-2 split. And we do have five Kalashnikovs throwing into the round. Let's see if we do get any blood early. Trying their luck again here. Kick is quite aggressive Look on this. Look at that. That is hyper aggressive. Tucked half wall. Chopper again. Same death. This time he doesn't take one with him. Oh, Kicker needs to get out of here with his life. The number is worth a lot here. 16 HP. Jumping around. Will... And safety towards logs and nothing lethal to be thrown his way other than what potential is this bullets. stubbornness they're going again I mean, there's one way in this smoke right now it's a very potent smoke I'm walking in on them there's chaos everywhere action down banana shut down yakinda caught on the cross isolated from his team the incendiary bang on back to the drawing board for vp flits floating around the apps but won't be able to do too much with this yeah they're out of space here right they need to go deal with mir towards the bottom of banana there is a little bit of room for them over towards A, but they need to push Mir back. Turning their attention to him now. Leaving Flit up to his own devices. And there's two jewels looking to go down on either side. Mir could lose. Be bomb sight, and he will. Just like that. Caught in a window of timing, and they are just absolutely rushing the B site. Oh, they paused. They're running boosting it. It does give a little bit more time. Okay, this is looking funny a now. A little more time a little bit for funky. And he's even taken Buster down. So they're going to be in a wide open A site. Flit's saying, come over here, boss. And he is on his way. SDY's read this well. He's rotated oh, in. He if he can him. stop the bomb up mid. Oh, this could be a disaster. Okay, he's got abs. Loud about it. He can SDY get him jumping out here. Could even catch him on the drop. Flit's looking the wrong way. He's got an AWP as well. This could get awkward. Does he go for the default? Oh, safe plan. plant. Oh, he's got a spot. Good shot. Doesn't find Flit just yet, but the smoke now down. He should be able to isolate onto Jame here. Anticipating the push from Flit. Oh, not far off the mark. Some die young. A good read of the situation, but a great recovery from VP. Yeah, and you have to. We didn't catch it on screen, but Flit getting a kill and getting into pit meant that the A defenders couldn't leave. They couldn't get over there to deal with Mir's death immediately. So that slowed things down. Now, obviously a fumble from VP. They could have got into that site for free, but they weren't to know what the rotation looked like. But this is immediately going to throw Spirit back down to Squalor here. They have... Enough money on three of their players to justify a rifle, maybe even four, if you wanted to get Chopper into something without any nades or a Famous. So there is a conversation to be had, and that's why the timeout will be called here. But this is a good start from VP. Pretty steady scenes. Yakinda is going to be going into a MAC-10, and he has a good spawn. So when you see a player, with a, especially one that has an affinity with entry fragging like Yakinda like this, we can either see him go fast up, banana, they could send him into boiler or halls quite quickly, even just barreling up middle, and it will be the buy from spirit here yeah i mean you know this is such a perfectly stark contrast to some of the infernos we've seen before where tyler were just giving you know banana All control room, yeah. whereas look at these guys there we've got chopper fighting half all 20 seconds into the round we've got kick it tucked in there taking the duel it's a very different ball game today 
just to note as well here, with this MAC-10 in play, it might look like the weakest weapon, but at the pace they have and no head armor on the other side, Yakinda could shred through them here. Yeah, leading the pack. He's opted for middle as opposed to banana with his pace and cancels his plans. James sticking Melting around in that air. Molotov, yeah. He's got some uh, burnt rubber filling his nostrils. I have to keep our eyes here on the opening kills as well because so far for VP and the majority of these gun rounds, the opening kills have gone their way. We're going to see a gamble. Now this favors Spirit until it doesn't. Um, now VP are happy to just pause. In fact, you can even see just the, that deep smoke has put them in spawn. They're just chilling, having a conversation, working out the game plan. James has been throwing that bomb, so he'll be at the back of the pack. Here's the thing. It's so early in the round right now, and I know there's a minute and 10 left on the clock, and we start with a minute 55, but it's so early against VP. So to drop that Hail Mary smoke, they're hoping it forces VP into them quickly, and, well, it's VP. That, that's not going to happen. Yeah. They're going to sit and wait out. One of the things on Inferno... Once all the CT utility is gone, right, the fights become much fairer. And I'm talking about utility. Look at VP still. A bunch of smokes, a bunch of flashes. They'll just start their round. They'll just do a 45 They're, pick mid. They're picking round. mid right now. Choppers. They are having a look. A warning shot across the bow. But here they go. At least looks like they're going to be committing to B. SDY and Chopper now are actually racing against the clock and the VP boys. Full rotation off. Magix is on his way as well. The T smoke confirms their suspicions. But look at Flit getting a cheeky time, and if he can worm his way through, and oh, this is naughty VP. Back to the A site. It's going to be all on to Dexter. And Flit's got the rotate locked. They're playing a very nice game here. Knives are out, and bodies are dropped. Flit, masterful in the double. Dexter up to his well, usual antics. He's contributing, but time. the bomb cannot be contested. He'd have loved to find an angle, a safe plant adopted by Yakinda to get it down. Double incendiary. Get yourself out of there. And get yourself out of this round, because VP, they can make that clock work in their favour. And if you're SDY, like, the option to retake is not looking great. Gives it a shot, goes on down. We're going to call that 5-1 to one right now. This is looking fantastic for VP out the gates here. Yeah, that did really look nice. I mean, just the timing flick caught as well. Gets to take some proactive play, using his own judgment, as well as, of course, operating within that team environment. But this was lovely. Look, I mean, catching... A team like Team Spirit, off to the point where they're running from the wrong bomb site with their knives out. It's just, it's dreamy. It's what every player, every lurker dreams of. What I like so far from VP is it hasn't just been slow play plays. They've actually gone for, for fights early here. So we're seeing a bit of variation in the way that they want to approach this. But some early nades banana, that's going to signal three players over towards B at least. Now, maybe, just maybe, VP starts to get a little bit of a move on over towards the other side of the map. Utility thrown out from Kick It safely done and that's going to keep feet planted now, it's just two players Dexter and Magix deep within that a side again so currently even though it is an eco spirit are operating with no information yeah so what's happened there is you can see the knee-jerk reaction to a presence in apps is to push for banana info you hear the flash fly through looking to clear up half wall and after they've called it clear VP will come and knock it again it really is just a constant game of trying to subvert their expectations when a round like this, you're just hoping to catch somebody on their own who, who's, you know, look, gone a little bit too far on the default here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Staying in quite the pack. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Don't be losing that bomb anywhere. The only way you win a round like this is if somebody goes ham with a, a big multi-kill on the pistols, right? So VP looking great here to secure the sixth early. And, well, just on the cover of the smoke, Magix does strike. He's able to get an AK-47 and get away. This one's starting to get interesting now. It certainly is. Oh, very interesting. Dexter's caught flit short. A two-man disadvantage, Chad. And the bomb's still leaning A. I think it's a practically a commitment it's at on this, this point. Kicker does not have access to the site. Spirit, no armor. Just some sidearms, and now a two versus five. They're going to do it spotlessly. Magix has even found another on the AK, and for the first time, we do see a little chip in the armor of this VPT side. That's crazy, because I was just talking about how they stayed together as a pack. All those deaths were isolated one by one. Every single one of them had no trade potential right there. So VP, they did the hard work. They did the heavy lifting. They put themselves in a good spot, but they didn't set themselves up for the trades. Bruh, Spirit, get a freebie. That is the best trade deal so far. I mean, look what you leave with and what you came in with. So much cash as well residual here. So this could be a turning point of the game if Team Spirit are able to consolidate here and continue to post CT-sided rounds. So it's a big question mark here because this will give them a buffer. You know, it's going to give them a bit of extra cash even if they do lose this one. But it'd be great to start building a bank off the back of that. And I'm curious to see SDY. He has that MAC-10 and he's even going to carry it through. Okay. Yeah, so fiscally responsible. Kick it on the other side. 
Tech's going to have to be added on down to a Tech 9. Yeah, the only person actually, you know, forced to send his cash to the goose egg is Mir. So they will have a very nice little nest egg. Oh, this is so much utility for Banana Control. Yeah, there's three smokes currently up on Banana. And Yakinda's up. Brackets. This is so quick. So quick. He's in the blind spot of Magic's apps as well. Flank's coming. Chopper's here already. This is a chaotic round. Oh my god, Mir's here too. Have the steps been Through the Doesn't smoke. look like it. Through the smoke. Round short. The timing on this is going to be brilliant. The flank of the century. Chopper strikes. And he'll take three. VP, they can't quite believe that. They're only just starting their A take and they're getting shot in the booty. Oh, Chopper wants more as well here. Very hungry for this. They're just trying to get the frag. <laughs> what a reaction. I mean, I guess you can see why he was so early. Stubborn to get banana info. Both teams, though, reacting off of the info, right? Right there, you had three sets of util from Spirit Throne and Banana. VP react off of that to take mid and try and get on those A defenders immediately. And as soon as that's called from the A defenders, Chopper, pedal to the metal as quick as you like. On that flank, nobody watching the behind. And... That should be the round unless Flit on 42 points of health. About that many seconds left too is able to pull up a miraculous one on three. Info. What are the call? Bomb loose on that side. It looks like he's thought better of it. Oh dearie me. Okay, well, the saves do continue here. We'll be able to save that AK-47. SDY starting to have a little bit of a looky Lewin. That extra cash. Well, he had the MAC-10. He's upgraded that into an AK. Looking brave. Credit to be given for Chopper as well. Because, yeah, sure, the the flank was brilliant. No one's looking at you. But still, to convert the multi-kill, and the third in particular, you know, not every player is going to be as cool and calm to collect. And not to give up on their game plan, which has been clear about getting that banana control, right? So time and time again, even though he was on the receiving end, a couple of those deaths early, uh, able to just be stubborn with the game plan and now make it work. We get to see how this spirals fall with the cash not there for VP now, and Spirit should be set up to convert their fourth round of play. Full buys, everybody with the head armor, kits for four, util for everybody, looking juicy now. Quite the oh. mix as well. We got a silenced M4, a M4A4, a couple of AKs in the mix. And it's just Flit with that saved one to be the hero of this. Yeah, and as we've discussed, as has been highlighted by our desks, you know, Flit completely emerging yourself into a new system, new roles, new positions. And that'll be more and more of a topic for discussion as VP continue their adventures. Yet to see them take down a real top dog in this group. We'll see if they can take a big chunk out of Team Spirit. Flick to be a component of the fourth, if they, or rather the sixth, if they can find it. Just a hero AK, and it's the first to fall, SDY. Easy as that. More to come, and support is present. Easy peasy. Some lemons to be squeezed for four spirit. The gap's closing. Now, this is the risk, right? When you go to save a gun like that to give yourself something to go into a round where you were likely to be eco, that individual doesn't get the loss bonus. So for Flit right now, he's getting a little bit of the Sandy treatment as far as his buy is going to go. Only 2.5k to his name. The rest will all be able to get at the AKs. No T-sided AWP to operate with right now. It's a little bit more hamstrung. The tides are turning. And the tables too. We have Ancient up next. Overpass if we do need it. It'll be nice to sink our teeth into a little bit of Ancient. Dexter, warning shot fired. Yakinda spotted in this spearhead. If they need to let somebody off the leash, Yakinda. And have some pep in his step. Very, very great on clears. Banana control still coming into play. So, massive priority here for Team Spirit to take this and force VP to regain that control or thrust them quickly into A, which we've seen manifest a few times here so far. Yeah, Chopper very deliberate with that presence. Like, since round one, we've seen a very clear game plan, which has, you know, been a part and parcel of why there's six deaths to three kills right now. A deep arch smoke. Yeah, they tend to combo that with a molly towards trash, right? Makes so from sense. there, it, it negates the boost on the corner. It helps them clear out the trash position as well for safety. But it is a bit of a ruse. They don't actually want to head towards mid. They've waited out all the banana util. They've all stayed clustered over towards T stairs. And with the util they have, they flash on over and they go for the control. Chopper, there's your info. And he's stuck around. Can't believe he sees how much information he's gotten away with there. And a frag, no less, as well. Kick it. Trying to lead the pack. And that's indicative of a commitment. You will be second guessing yourselves a little, but the steps have been heard. Dexter's still ready to respond. And the util comes in. That's the commit. Mir to try and babysit. Oh. oh, and they just walk into his crosshair. Three in one mag. Chopper puts the cherry on top and tie this one up. 
They don't really bleed. Look at the cash they're starting to accrue with two perfect rounds back to back. Chad. This is great, right? And and it's fighting, right? They're happy to take fights. So the utility is there from VP to force you to be honest, right? Normally, uh, when you're the canary in the coal mine, the individual getting the information over towards Banana, what happens is you're just there to get that info safely and get on back. Well, Chopper's hung around in multiple occasions and made it more jarring. So not giving VP free real estate, not at all. So uh, this is working out now, but you're going to want to continue this forward and definitely not drop around here to some upgraded pistols. Everybody with their pistol of choice, couple of digs, couple of tech nines, a P250 for good measure, and a few flashbangs is again. Chopper is just persistent. What a nuisance. Oh, he could even get a second there. He's tagged up kicker. He's got a stylish half wall flash to delay. And look at the stuff. They are going to three man peak this. That's a very clear game plan, isn't it? Banana control name of the game right now. And there's more to come. This is a death match. Never mind the bomb. Never mind the sights. This is just going to be a fight. Buster's the last man standing. If there was a book written on Counter-Strike, if you get the opening kill against an eco round, you would traditionally just start to play it safe. Because we know how threatening those pistol rounds can be. But it's the, in, the intention of Spirit is so clear. I'm talking about Banana Control, sure, but they have that bloodlust. They want to fight, and, and, and that's quite key here. That's exuding a bit of confidence for me that on the T side, you're going to get a lot of that as well. They're going to take a lot of risks, it feels like. And you got to go back a couple of years to think about Chopper and Mages and crushing up Banana with Mac 10s, but they've got the balls to do it. And there you go again, another fight. Buster goes down. We'll take the lead right now for Team Spirit, and they're just chilling. Great recovery. I mean, that they've taken the lead after a 5 1 start here. I mean, that is uh, that's exactly what they needed. Ooh. No time. It was actually off the back of a timeout. I forgot there was, a, was one CT timeout taken. It in those five rounds in a row that they've been able to accrue here as well, they've only lost a total of three players. So that's how spotless it's been. Three in five rounds, not a whole lot. That explains three members over 10K then. Yeah, it's looking pretty right now. Now, Jame, emergency button has been hit. The T-side AWP is out. On maps like Dust2, they like to park him just to kill rotations. On the T-side of Inferno, he might need to be a little bit more active if Ticket can't get this banana control. And once again, utility will dissuade him. No follow through. Interesting mix-up. What was previously a three-man defense of B. The same smoke has been thrown, but it's just Chopper. Yeah, they're calling their bluff a little bit here, hoping... Do they want to fight? Is Mia going to push? Mia is thinking about <laughs> they, it. They are, they are Would have been the right call. <laughs> yeah, some really good reads so far. It seems like Spirit of... They They've definitely played lots of VP scrims and domestically in officials. Look at all the util on Dexter here as part of this rotation as well. So they're going to have three players over towards the B-bomb site, just off of the top mid info play. It's not the flash and go. Dexter would be... Oh! Hard pressed to peek straight into a Jame T side orb. He wasn't expecting that. First time we've seen that fill the feed. Through the smoke, kick it, flirting with it. Oh, and looking the wrong way. What a nice time, and he's caught only mere. And only some damage. Two of them bleeding, but that should concede and tie things up to 6-6. Six, six. The last two remaining were over on the A site, the typical A defenders as well. They'll know that as they press tab. And yeah, now this is the situation if you are Magix and SDY. Do you want to try and punish the economy, take away a couple of guns? As you mentioned before, they had economy, that bank, it's been built up quite nicely. They can risk this, but you want to make sure that you are getting a kill or two. You don't want to be frivolous about this. You don't want to be just peeking any corners wide, going down to the orb. And here's the jewel for Magic. So Kinder on the other side, peppering away at each other. Warning shots, if anything. And your Kinder, well, that's enough of a warning. Magic's down. You're not going to get anything for this. It looks like SDY has spotted Flit. And there's not going to be enough time to chase him on down here, I don't think. And we tie things back up again at 6-6. Six, six. I think if your team spirit here, you're going to be wanting to win out the half for sure. Nine, meaning they'll need the last three here on the trot before we get to half time. I think it's going to be a little bit more necessary for them. But their buy does look fantastic here, and this was the kill, right? As soon as Chopper jumps up, I was speaking about the bloodlust. Well, that's when it doesn't work, right? You get to the other side of it there, trying to retain the information the best he could, but into the gun rounds we go. Another utility out, but this time they're not thrusting themselves forward. They're attempting Kicker to come on in. Just that rally, guys. I know it just looks like nades are being thrown, but the decision-making here, the deep molly, right? 
and then the deep smoke means that Kick It has to drop on back behind that because they can clear him out towards the half wall. So then the T's throw the car molly to delay that push, and the U-Tool just goes back and forth, and then we end up in a stalemate where both teams gain absolutely nothing. They just lose a lot of U-Tool. Space does stay in the favor of VP here as they continue with this default combing of the map, and there's really no presence over towards A just yet. Flip, the only man tasked in that boiler and hall's position so far. Nikinda flirting with the idea of middle, and looks like they've got SDY and a bit of a yo-yo here. Redefending this B bomb site. Now they're making their way up mid, and path of least resistance would be the arch side right here, right now. Dexter will note it as that smoke has been dropped. They have to be on high alert that mid to B or an A wrap is possible, but neither option being taken here. Back to B, they slink, and information back for Dexter, so they should be ready and raring for a bit of a B hit here. Yeah, Dexter's just sweeping top mid now, so this, it syncs up nicely, and with the 30 seconds left, you start seeing Util. Drop there in Sendry, the HE, that's surely the Q. Chopper's going for the ratty one on the bounce, a lovely off angle, strikes early. Evades the flames, tucked in tight, a crossfire established, it's going to be tough to break. He does go down, good contribution from SDY, kicking and screaming no for the double, and no time to plant, no time to win the round. Well, there's, you know, we're getting all the evidence of the weaknesses of both teams' game plans here. Sure. The round prior, we just saw what happens when you do keep bringing the fight and it falls flat. This time, VP rotting that clock just a little too much. Yeah, if you're unable to trade efficiently going into the sites when you play that late, then the round... It could be done and dusted right there and then, and that's exactly what happens. Multi-kills coming in the favor of Team Spirit. They shut the door on VP, and realistically, that whole round was about a minute and 30 worth of posturing and slight info gathering until we have the gamble stack, or let's say a well-educated stack coming out from Spirit there to lock down that B bomb site. Smiles on the faces. And it uh, looks like we do have a little bit of a technical timeout, as you're seeing the headset coming off of SDY. I don't know if any of you uh, tuned into TI just the other week here, but uh, Spirit were the ones to actually take the whole thing home in the Dota realms. And I'm pretty sure that admin was behind uh, the TI teams as well. So, uh, <laughs> they're lucky mascot. Behind them. Yeah, well, I think VP was uh, was there as well. Like a lot of the, a lot of the big uh, Counter-Strike names are also over in the Dota realms too. Crossover of organizations. Yeah, and I mean, t Team Spirit was, it, it's like the equivalent of Copenhagen Flames walking in and, and lifting the uh, the trophy here at the Major. Yeah. You know, like yeah. that's, that they had the Cinderella story. They had it. I, I love the sass that they had as well. Like um, in the game against OG, uh, like I think it was Toronto, Tokyo. Uh, I watched Dota once a year. Yeah. Uh, it was like typed easy game against yeah. OG and, you know, there was there was all that going and on. It was good fun. I like that OG also realized that th there's, there's no bad blood there. They know how good it feels to be beating the the hot favorite, oh, the, yeah. the seasoned vets, the TI champs. You know, like, I mean, of course, that's going to that's gonna be feeling like you're on cloud nine. Well, hopefully not in Counter-Strike, but... <laughs> but um, now, looks like we are going back into the realms. A couple more rounds of our first half here in the first map of this best of three. Two wins, one loss. Looking to secure legend status. And there's going to be a very uncomfortable uh, set of big names due to shortcomings. Astralis is a good example where you really do want to secure it now. Secure it today. Kick it. Securing double oh entries on Banana. Spirit gagging for a fight. They're going through it? Nah, nah. I've done enough now. This is where you can realistically just wait out the time. The CTs have to either get desperate with another gamble or another push. And here SDY comes. Kicker's going to get the third for the round. And Dexter's next, holding on to the whole site. Oh, straight towards A. They're all, they've seen enough. Heading over towards Magix right now. He's out of position. He's, He's normally the off. pit player, bro. Oh, that's an interesting trajectory. So he sold them that. Flit knows he can fly out the back. Has to win this. Oh, he's struggling. Timing on this. Balcony, soon a threat. Adapting nicely. He's reading this well, trying to delay as best he can. The rotation on its way. Down goes Flit, not the 2v4. Has to live. And that's a bit of a push, isn't it? Taking down your kinder keeps the round interesting. And back they go. He's reading them well. Just evades the degs to long clear. James going back to A. He's hoping Magix has gone back. He kind of faked the noise. Oh. He opted for the AK. And oh my god. Two versus four for the denial. Knocks the head off a of James. Piecing together where Buster may linger. He's had a perfect read so far. Will he consider long? If he goes towards Codzera, it's off. Yes. Oh my God, he the could reposition. do this. 
Magic's looking for his fourth, but a 2v4 Buster with a hard clear. Magic's how quick can you click? Oh! Oh, okay. Close, but no cigar today. Buster smokes him. What a round that could have been from Magic's, right? Under the pump right there, you can see all the details going back and forth. They identify the AWP top banana. They hightail it over towards A. The Molotov comes from the arch side. They're forced up short and through apartments. And this is all with tickets starting the round with three kills. Magic's almost does this almost wins them around from nowhere. Look at all the pressure here. He knew he had to scamper through Moto into the site. He delayed the best he could. Dexter gets there, but does nothing. And then isolated in the one-on-one, -on -one, Buster does mop up that mess. Brutality. That was nearly oh, something that's gonna very sting. special. Oh, and he's doing it again. Kick at the entry, Fragger. Your kinders at T-Spawn. Kick at top banana. A roll reversal. Mir is lucky to be alive. Two sets of shrapnel from two different HEs now, late leave him at 24. That was one of the things, right, when we first had Yakinda join this team, I think we had an interview with the likes of Kickit, and he was saying, yeah, we've got three entry fraggers in the team right now. Buster, Kickit, Yakinda all able to get aggressive, and today, Kickit's the one doing the honors. But now they can actually stabilize with this number advantage here, the half win. There's four more kills away right now for VP on their map choice, but information name of the game again. And they call it clear, but they need to rotate. They need to rotate now. SDY is on his own. Yeah, Mir returning to where all that damage was done to him. He's being equipped with the AWP. He went shopping. Dexter gave it to him. But it's not going to be not going to be easy to contribute anything here. At least not with the AWP. They're cancelling oh, the noisy boost. Too. It was very loud. They haven't opted to free fire it. Everything lining up for VP here. Yeah, VP's round to lose. The A7 finish to win out their T half. Two mollies in a flash. That's all they've got for the retake. The kits are nice, but this is going to be difficult to break. I mean, this is hard mode, yeah. Good luck, have fun. Buster already lining up a couple more heads, and that's Magic's just desperately trying to find a way in. A missed shot from Jame is something, but that's a nade from Flit. All that utility, the speed by which they took the site. And now all on to one man. There you have it, VP8. Team Spirit 7. I mean, for a recovery though, Chad, you have to remember how it started. Yeah, Team Spirit did a good job to get them back into this and then VP with the bounce back of their own here. It, it tightened up to a competitive, I, I want to say last six or so rounds where we really saw the teams going toe to toe. And now that we flick on over, this is where we see maybe some of the woes coming through from VP. And I know on the T side, you know, it can be a bit more difficult in terms of like the, how quick you want to react and what strategies the teams like to run. But the CT side, in terms of the chemistry of holding positions, this is where VP won't have what Spirit have, at least in theory. Now, Flip, pound for pound, uh, compared to Sanji, right? He's a better fragger, but he's also hasn't been asked in the team that he played in before to drop guns every single round. So this is where we're going to have a bit of a discrepancy here, and I think that's why we will see a different looking VP, not just in the names, but in their approach to the game going forward. Here we go, both teams. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's a CT. Smoke, they're just going to rush B here. Chopper might die to two bullets. Yeah, he certainly could. You can despite the whole squad. Luckily, Magic's has struck it. Oh, Flit strikes harder. Nearly more. He's corralling them and not so bad to keep them honest. <laughs> oh, Flit. Mint mate. Yeah, finish that one off with style three in quick succession. And a little bit of an oopsie from the Team Spirit boys. It's not what you want to see. No, definitely not, right? Don't swing your bloody knife as you're going out of spawn. They've been grinding too many matchmaking games or... Yeah, you want to stay away from that. So just stabbing your in-game leader right in the back, the man with all the util. A big whoopsie. And look at how quick he falls. Yeah. First one in the spine. Then the headshots come in. Three from Flip there. And re-peeking after catching a bullet to the dome. He knew his role. Well, they will force by back. So Team Spirit not willing to give up the fight just yet. An aggressive maneuver here from Jame. Up into Boiler, listening for any fast footsteps. Alt middle. You want aggressive. Look at Yukindo. He's giving him the Team Spirit treatment. Early deep banana smoke. And... Pop flash up mid, that might spur your kinder to walk on through. We'll find out how this one shapes up. So fast, tech nines, loud, stampeding in to kick it. Lovely angle he's adopted there. It. And it doesn't look like there'll be much left for your kinder. Kick it, cleans house. One by one, single file into the site. When you force by, you, you want to get a kill or two or a plant. Uh, everybody dying without getting anything done, that's less than ideal. Let's just leave it that way. As uh, it should now be the closest thing we get these days to a full eco from Team Spirit. Meanwhile, Valve tune in and see three different weapon variations already in play for the ZT side and absolutely love it. Smiles from ear to ear. 
the thing is, with this, when I had conversations with them in majors back in the day, right, they would say it, but it wasn't clear. Like, they should have been like, well, no, there's plenty of different guns with plenty of different options, you idiot. But they would say, but why don't you consider a different option, yeah. right? You know, they didn't spoon feed us, but uh, we got there eventually. No, they have a, a little bit of a kind of a, a god complex, you know, that they want their, their minions to work it out themselves. I like it. You know, it's making us use our brains. Yeah. Yep, I and like it. Sometimes in the patch notes or they just, you know, I don't know, make it, make <laughs> a, a little gun, bit cheeky. Make a gun cheaper <laughs> for a while just to make their minions understand. That's the arrows. That guy, guys, look here. It's the big neon lights. Yeah. Try this one. It looks pretty good, right? That's why people like Sloth Squadron and stuff are <laughs> integral, right? Because they're the ones who break down all the details, the numbers, mm -hmm. which is what this is all built on. But... They'd love a plant here, Chadney. It's not going to happen. There goes the bomb. It's been thrust now into Mir's hands, and good luck. Have fun with that. Uh, James going to like that. Kill with the SMG. Bit of extra dollary dues coming on through. And 11 to 7, the scores now read. AKs will be coming out for Team Spirit now. And if their first half and their banana aggression was anything to go off, be interested to see if we do get a carry through of that here on the T side. That unrelenting fight for territory. Could find a few issues here because James AWP is out immediately. He's given that UMP over to the likes of Yakinda here. Plenty of cash for the VP side of things as well. And they're going to be operating with a three man B defense early. Jane posted down middle, an aggressive stance, taking the pick to second. The flash is good. The warning shot fired. Now, Spirit know what they're working with. I like this. Slink it on up, flashed on through. Aggressive footsteps heard. Kick it out of position. He's down. Okay. A 3 2 split. They're wrapping around the A site and Chopper plucked out. James on the site outline. Great angle. He's thrown a little one way there. And he's absolutely dismantled this split. And James partners in crime. Execute the spirit rap. I mean. In, in terms of T-side, you're saying you like it. You couldn't ask for more. Seeing all your players on the site, un taking down the long player initially, you've got the room to move and flank and strike in unison. And I think Flit Smoke did a lot there. Yeah, you could tell that was reactionary from Spirit, right? Because as soon as they noted where Jane was, right, they get the flash, they take top mid control. Kicker is rotating in. They were trying to punish the arch side, which is where that rotation from the B defender has to come back on through. They're able to thread the needle there. But instead of hitting the brakes, they try and get on top of that. And normally, if an AWPer is stuck in a very rough position, like in the A site, and you cross fight, you're coming in from both short and long, he's got to pivot 180 degrees, right? But that flit smoke, that one way into the double kill, cheeky. And it's put Team Spirit in a position where they have to take a timeout and discuss their finances here. No plant, not enough to buy, enough for a half purchase. And this is where you like to see a pocket strat come out. And that one right there, look, the flash has gone off just after he's pulled the trigger, or just before. I mean, the smoke serves so many purposes. Like, not only is it maybe reactionary because he knows they're going to try and run down our AWP, he's just made it clear he's on site, but it blocks Jamie from being vulnerable to any funny business on short while he plays around the boxes. and. Continues to be a viable defender of the site. Very aggressive from Mir. I think the incendiary forcing him forwards in this boost. Typically good for the T ramp, but it'll just be the warning shot for now. Half bite, couple of pistols, and already got the casualty of one. They're already aware of this, right? They can tell it's going to be apartments waterfall. Two of them, one from pit, one from graveyard ready. Ooh. At least a bullet connecting, but there's plenty of VP here, as you discussed. They know. And that hurts. SDY. Nade down the gullet. One by one, they fall. Yeah, if, if I'm the observer team, I'm just going to keep from the six to the zero. Uh, I'll keep my press in those buttons. There is nothing for Team Spirit to be doing right now. Yeah, and we're talking about just like the lack of kills in the rounds that uh, VP were getting in the slew. Team Spirit were able to post on their CT side. Having a look here at the five in a row right now that we've gotten. It's only a total of three kills in those five and not a single plant. So things are going miserably right now for Spirit. If you're a VP fan, things are going great. Right? There hasn't been a single threat so far on this CT side. Money, awesome. Everybody around that 10K mark. And the heads need to be scratched right now for Team Spirit. They need to change the dialogue here. Freeze time ticks on down and we get back underway. Damn. That's interesting. I'll just take a look at the opening jewel stats and both kick it, respectively, Chopper for Team Spirit are both leading and taking nine and being involved in nine opening jewels each. Wow. Both winning four, losing five. Okay. That's a lot of you till down. Your kinder aggressive now. 32. 
Oh, bullets are in absolutely the right place. And Magix has bailed himself out of trouble. Bailed his leader. Hmm. Out of trouble for a moment. But this pressure is relentless. And look Jesus. at the fights we're getting. This is a very different flavor than what I was expecting. This isn't the CIS Counter-Strike we all grew accustomed to throughout the online era. This is uh, very biffy. It's like, very biffy. Use the, de use the term deathmatch here, and you can just see the kills happening all over the map and people willing to go for fights. I mean, what, I, I suppose this is also not only a product of LAN, the Major, the, but the fact that you've played 30 official matches against each other, like, this is, you're, you're no longer playing A plan, B plan. This is the counter VP, counter team spirit plan. Well, this right here is a massive gap for Magix and Dexter to thread right now. If they can get on through, get into the site, and get the bomb down before James is able to find a kill, they might be able to fortify this A bomb site. Now, James, if he came through the apartments behind, that's one place you wouldn't be too ready for this quickly. But multiple smokes, a couple of mollies. In the mix, they're being lobbed out now, and here comes James. I don't think they're ready for it this, this early. This is so naughty. Dex out a look. He's considering it. Oh, but just as he pulls the nade out of his satchel, he's booked and kick it. You know he's walking through that. So does Magix. Not, oh no. He got very close to a beautiful clutch previously. Need to plant. They, they need this oh, money. They, they, they need that 800 bucks. He's not going to get it down now, Chad. They're just going to walk him in. Yeah, Wall bang him. Lost. Nade him. Oh, well, he does get the bomb down at the very bare, bare minimum. Had to do that, right? That's the only way they can stay competitive with another buy. I understand that they need the round as well, but in a one-on-three situation like that, it was always going to be unlikely he would go for the win, uh, will be able to get the win. So yeah, they get the bomb down, but so far the goose egg here on the T side. I can come back through and the timeouts, if you're spirit, you may as well continue to take whatever you have left at this point. You're in a hard spot. VP looking very, very good here. Nobody is slouching right now. Top end of the scoreboard, you've got your Kinder and Flit on 17 apiece. You have 15 coming in for the likes of Kick It. 13 for Jane, Buster on 11. And yeah, James looking confident again. Picks down mid, picks to second mid. Gets on out with the timing here. Willing to have a look. Oh, they already tried this round. They have already. Oh! Unconfirmed damage, but they're straight into okay. it. Okay, Chopper's got him. No, he hasn't. Kick it still. Doing more. Going above and beyond the call of duty. He nearly takes him down on his own. He's got James to call upon, so long, no issue. And VP, this is such a CT lockout. We had a competitive half, Chad. Oof, this is like Copenhagen Flames yesterday against Heroic, right? They, they, once they moved onto the CT side of their uh, Vertigo, they just destroyed them. And right now, VP are doing exactly the same here. And the thing is, if you want to contrast the T sides, VP running down the clock and then playing late with the mind games and forcing Team Spirit into gamble stacks, you can see the difference here. What you're getting is Team Spirit going for all-ins early and the rounds are pretty much done and dusted within the first 20 to 30 seconds. SDY tries his best, but yep, some die young. Well, he is dead and that's going to be 15 to 7. Just one more round required. Now, this was VP's pick. Let's not forget that this is something they definitely felt like they were most attuned to convert. I did say I was going to give up on Spirit, but I predicted them again. Ah. So um, I guess I can predict them until they're eliminated, and then I can't predict them anymore. Yeah, well, I actually have both Spirit and VP in my pickums, so uh, I'm cheering we for both. We can still for get everyone. both, <laughs> yeah. you know? It's still possible. Certainly, and I'm not going to um, be celebrating prematurely for VP. Now, it's great to see them looking as dominant as they are here on the CT side. and Good to see... Uh, varied and eclectic mix of strategies on their tee, but Ancients next and FaZe, oof, did really teach him a lesson or two yesterday on that very map. So looking forward to the series. I think getting to see the newest map in the pool here at the Major between these two teams. I mean, look at the Counter-Strike you're getting on Inferno. Yeah, look at all the rotation over towards this B site here. Jane plus two, ready to lock down the four-man take. Should be the Blender NB. Here they come. It's quick though. Not opting to smoke it. They'd rather just fight and kick it's ready for it as well. The brawl begins. Magic's going to clear him. Buster's booked. It's doable. Kick it looking to change the dialogue. Anticipating the swing. A well-placed nade will force them further away. And now the trajectory alone does reveal. Emo's lost the site too. Bond's loose. Oh, this boost should rumble them. They're being so loud about Smoke's it. Smoke's faded too. Timing was off. Cancel that. Silence falls for a second. And it's not necessarily planting any doubts. SDY gives Kick at the fight he's been waiting for. And Magic's again. Just